Hey, I am Chris Hoke, credited as David C. Hoke, writer-director of the new upcoming uh, short film featurette from Red Sea called Falls County. If you, you can see a little preview right here, some of the rough footage of it playing there as I talk. Anyway, just touching base on it, a little behind the scenes kind of background for it. Uh, we shot it in uh, August, September of uh, 2015 and been uh, working on it in post-production ever since, taking our time with this one and had to go get some more footage for it and things like that. So really kind of a labor of love, spending a lot of time working on the project. But a little background, uh, made a f two features called Wounded and and the other one was called thought, uh, thought Un a thought unchained anyway uh they're both about revenge and I, wounded was kind of about how revenge you know only destroys yourself and thought unchained was about how uh sometimes revenge is like is like justice and uh i was kind of still interested in the whole subject of revenge it's a common theme in movies and and honestly i was i'm kind of reached a point where I'm kind of done with it, but I wanted to see, well, what else is there? What is my revenge trilogy? What is the third part of my revenge trilogy? So I wrote a script, and basically the idea with this one is, uh, once a person gets revenge, now what? You know, so many times in movies, character gets revenge, and then you don't see what happens on the other side, you know, what, how it's prosecuted, how it's, you know, how they, just how they deal with it emotionally, any of this kind of stuff. So anyway, um... I just wanted to make a, a, a film that sort of approach you get revenge now what so that's the basic idea of the movie the the, the to set up the the, the short film uh, uh character roy which roy's the character name carries over from wounded to a thought on chain and um roy and his wife uh, have a, a young daughter and she's killed by a serial killer and that's all happens before our short starts anyway um uh, he goes and he kills the killer and basically this takes place several years later in the aftermath and what happened to their lives after he got that revenge. Uh, shot it all over, Waco, it's called Falls County. I was inspired uh, by a trip and a visit with a friend and a, and a business associate uh, to Rosebud and the, the feel of the town kind of inspired me and I already had this idea sort of formulating and when I saw that town that sort of clicked, I, I saw some of the locations that sort of clicked the rest of the story and, and um, we used a lot or not a lot but we used some locations there and around and, and we shot in uh, Chilton so we tried to use actual Falls County as much as we could and uh, basically the the idea is, is uh, this is a place and this is where they are and this is it's not a indictment of the actual Falls County is a, is, a, is a good county this is a no I means a uh, indictment of the county this is just where this took, takes place this is where they are and that to me was that's kind of why I titled it Falls County is because it sort of represents where these people are and where they have been and that's where the name Falls County kind of comes from so anyway uh, uh, Rusty Cook plays the lead Roy did a fantastic job uh, uh, Kelly Crowder plays uh, his, his um, former wife without telling you too much of the story Sarah Jean uh, and then of course Jesse Jesse Cole he plays uh, Michael uh, and uh, or Mike and uh, they did a real good they really formed a really good you know three-man uh, cast we had some special appearances by Larry Jack uh, Larry, friends of our Larry Jack Dotson played the, the the funeral home director as you can see in the rough footage and we had uh, other characters I'm probably forgetting some names I should forget but anyway uh, we just had a really good time shooting. Michelangelo Flores, Rez, was the DP, so we worked as a team. Him, DP, me as the writer-director. It was a really collaborative effort, and uh, I think you're really going to like this one. It's, it's, it's different. It's, it's not violent. It's not uh, sexual. It's not filled with a bunch of R-rated language. It does have R-rated language, but it's not like the <laughs> what drives the movie. And at the end of it, I think you're going to have a very surprising emotion. I don't want to give away any kind of ending, but this is not your normal Red Sea Red Sea TV production. It's We went to be different, and I think we, we succeeded. So we're working on it, and uh, stay tuned. Hopefully uh, you'll catch us later in Falls County. Thanks.